everybody, Scotty here, Jazz Hall Bobbers. Let's see, we'll get it on a different angle. There, so I don't have to bend over. So, how's it going? It's been a while. Um, not really, I guess about a week or whatever. It's almost as, like a network thing here. Anyway, uh, so I got the wiring harness built on the bike. Uh, seems to be working. Uh, tested some of it, or most of it, I guess, except for the stuff that actually goes to the engine and stuff, and uh, make sure the charging system and stuff, I only can figure that out once I got the bike running, actually. Um, but well, let's go for a little tour de force here. So, there's my beautiful bike, okay. Let's come in nice and close. Here we go. Okay, so I did put some reflector on it so far. I'm going to put some back ones on too here. I just did that last night actually. Uh, do a little bit every day. I have been doing a bit every day. Uh, it took me about three days to build the harness. Or, well, three evenings, not three full days. A lot, of, Like I said, a lot of staring time. But the harness is all brand new. I used some decent wire for it. I grabbed a couple of feet of this stuff from work. And it's like an insulated mortar type cable. It's already tented and everything else. So it's really good for corrosion and stuff. And I used a heavier gauge, like a 12 gauge wire as my main lines. And then like I topped everything off. I didn't put fuses or nothing on this bike. I, uh, it's yes and no, right and wrong, whatever. But if you do it really good and stuff, which I'm very animate on, I with the wiring that I do it good. Because that was the one thing that has left me on the side of the road with previous builds on this bike because I was using the original harnesses and trying to make them work and stuff and then the last year I was riding this bike I used a homemade harness which worked way better and it never gave me any issues but it was made with like the original wire like and I was just using like Reese's pieces and buttoning it together type deal so but this time I used some actual newer wire that's never been used before and better suited for the application I'm using for it and I was tried about four times to make a video on soldering and my first attempt my soldering iron the good one kind of pooched out on me so I tried three more attempts with a crappy soldering iron and I, it was just the last one it was in 10 minutes and it was still not even dripping any solder yet so I'll explain it to you when you're soldering you want to start with clean wire if your wires corroded or something you want to scrape it clean with a knife or something get it nice and clean twist your wires together no, you're not going to do it for me, are you? But, you know, you make your, like that, and you make your other wire twist together, kind of against each other. But da, 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 da. That's my two big fingers close to the camera. <laughs> but you make a really tight splice, and then what you do is you hold the soldering iron on the wire itself. Usually I try to get it underneath the wire because uh, the heat rises type deal. And then you just hold the solder on and rub it back and forth until it actually melts onto the wire. It's, it takes seconds to make the solder melt onto the gun itself. And you might be able to drip some on the wire, but that doesn't necessarily solder it. When you're soldering, the solder gets all inside the wire and it just melts. It just turns it into one big solid good clump of you know, electrical goodness, I guess, if you would say. Because that's the only way you really want to have any connections on a bike like this, or well, any bike, as far as I'm concerned. There's good soldered connections, you know, unpluggable connectors are good too, but go with good solder connections and stuff. But anyway, I'll give you a little demo of the light. Here's the headlight working. We got a horn which I put on the old start switch because this is a kickstart only bike my choice um, there's the brake light I got and there's the brake light I got working there you go so I'm gonna try to avoid putting blinkers on this at all costs so uh, I have my own thoughts with blinkers uh, I find when someone goes like that, you see that a lot more than a little light flashing about that big. Um, 
Plus, they don't make a top below cool, but if I have to put them on, I have to put them on, whatever. Uh, we'll see how that goes in the next week or so. Um, so I think that's kind of where we're at with Jazz Hall Bobbers now. Like I said, all she's got to take there now is a tank, a carburetor, a little fuel, and a battery because the old battery is no more good for this bike. I tried charging it and it wouldn't take a charge, so I'm actually just testing it out with the old Honda battery from the other bike. So, there you go. Ahoo! Scotty, Jazz Hall Babas. Episode 9, Season 3. Have a great day, guys. Let's get wired. <laughs>